Hi, welcome to Making Memories with Melody. I am in the middle of anything from FaceTime Friday to creating a promotion event to my group. So my desk is messy, but I did want to share with you that I went through my stickers and found this opportunity. These are photo, um, you know, for separating photos out and organizing photos. And I found that if I cut the stickers up um, to the fit inside of here, this is going to be easy for me because I don't have a ton of certain kind of stickers. I have just a bit. So this way I'll be able to find them just when I want them. And so that's exciting for me because I knew I had some of this type, but I hadn't been able to find them until I went through the whole box of stickers. So right now where we're at is that I would like to add just a couple more um, oceany, beachy things to these first couple pages because that's where I was. So I go through here and I find this and I just have, you know, like I said, I, I'm not a big sticker person. I have some, I do like them. Um, I did them more when I was doing greeting cards than I do now with, um, you know, uh, junk journaling. But there's there's always a way to find something. Now, I like this. Life's a beach. Where could I put that one? Let's look at this and see. Let's see. So when we started out, look at this. Now, this is nice. And wouldn't that be fun right there? So I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of extra glue to this because um, a lot of times the glue that comes comes with uh, you know on the back of these just isn't quite enough to work for a functional journal if it was just a card and gonna get set up on the shelf then it would be fine but okay Oy. so let's see I need it not to go off of the page on the bottom and I need to still be able to see the two so I'm going to do it like that. Life's a beach. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Just added that little bit that it needed right there. That's why I don't necessarily consider pages done when I walk away from them. I think there's a lot more that you'll find when you're looking through your stuff. Now, I found some more of my patriotic and um, Fourth of July type. And I wanted to do this. Let's see. We have uh, God Bless America and United We Stand. I'm going to do this one because I truly, truly hope God continues to bless us and help us heal. So look at that. How fun is that? And it wasn't something that I, you know, I found until the last minute. I didn't, you know, I've been working on this journal for two months and I just started digging through and going through some things. Now I kind of like this idea here, maybe the stars. So maybe if I just cut right there and stick some of this glue on there yeah especially with a, a daily journal you're never really done you're just you're just looking for new things to do all the time right so there's some stars there's the god bless america life's a beach let's throw something on here oh it's a little stuck it's gonna come out um, this one um, was for July 2nd, and it talks about uh, my husband walking on the beach. And I'm thinking, um, having a blast would be fun right up there. So I'm going to take a little bit of my glue. These aren't the kind of stickers I would normally put into a junk journal, you know, if I was uh, planning on selling it, a themed one or anything. But... It works for this. It just absolutely works. Because we did. We were having a blast. So this, this journal has been really fun for me. Really freeing. Not worrying about, you know, what what should be. Just doing what I want to do. And um, I think anyone that doesn't, uh, doesn't think that that's a joy to do just doesn't truly love junk journaling. All right, let's put this down here just because I probably won't use these two pieces without the larger one. And there was one more, but it must be. There it is. There it is. Those are so cute. Do you see those? It's a really. It was a. It was a really sweet um, little sticker set. 
And I think I'm going to put this on top of the gym. So there's my husband on the beach around the 2nd of July. And now I've added some, some more bling to it just to give it a little bit more interest. And as I find it, I'll add it. So really quick though, while I'm here, let's go to a page because today's the 10th. And let's write in here, we wrote in here on July 6th, all right? So let's see if this pen will work. Not any pen will work in here because I gessoed it and put mica powder on it. Now this is what I'm keeping in here to write on, to stamp on, to do things with. But let's see if this will work. Today is Friday. Oh, it's going to work for a little bit anyways. Friday. It's not, it doesn't stand out very well though. So I'm going to pick a different pen. I am going to redo that. And this one's not going to work. This is what I was saying. I wouldn't use microns on there. And I, I said that before when I did the gesso to begin with. It's best just to use this, a Sharpie, honestly. So Friday. This one's not working perfect either. July 10th. And I'm just going to keep grabbing them until one writes exactly the way I want it to. Um, adding stickers. You know what? I wonder if I can find the actual pen that I used. Okay, here we go. Now you know, if you add gesso to your paper, you're going to want to find a thicker, um, moist, uh, sharpie type pen okay um, the skinny pointed ones they're going to get globbed up and it's just not going to work i knew it but i just didn't know which one was going to be the, the ending point you know adding stickers to my journal and sharing ideas on YouTube. I messed it up, but that's okay. I know what I'm saying. Um, and you know what? Um, being that it's the 10th, I um, will find an ad. I'm going to add numbers. Okay. Okay. So that's just, that's just what I'm writing. It doesn't matter. I'll go back and write something more on a level that, um, you know, makes sense to the journal. But this is a page, and this was the seventh. So let's go over here. And this is where we would um, figure out how to get our 10 in there, July 10th. And I'm thinking that that's thick enough there that whatever I do won't show through. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do... I'm going to just hand do it. I could do numbers. I could fussy cut. I could do all kinds of things. But it doesn't always have to be so much work. Right? So I'm just going to write July 10th. And then here, yeah, I'm going to write Friday. And then I'm going to add. I'm going to look in my stash here. And do you remember this? This was the toilet paper roll from the trip. And I'm not sure if I can get, I don't, this just seems too thick to cut, but I might, no, there's not going to be much I can do, um, most likely, except if I can get something to fit down inside of there. This toilet paper roll, I don't know where the, the um, hotel got it. But, oh, there we go. That's good enough. That is good enough. Okay, let's glue this sucker in. Let's glue this in and we'll use it as a pocket. So this is a toilet paper roll that I showed you guys last week and I was gonna just go ahead and uh, cover it with six by six cardstock that matched, all right? And then I'll use it as a pocket. Now what I think I might do is go ahead and clamp this down because I definitely don't want it lifting, right? You want a good secure adhesion let's see if I can I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to find another clamp I've got a few too many things going on on my on my desk at one time and so that's not the best way to do videos but you know what guys this is a working uh 
this is a working work in progress and I've just got to figure out how to make things work as I go it's just the way it is just the way it is so we have July 10th handwritten you know what if I didn't if I wasn't able to handwrite in my own journal right what does that say so um, I have some numbers that I've uh, printed and cut out I'll do some other types of things but this particular one I wanted to handwrite it because that red marker was so beautiful on the last page that we were writing so now what I'm going to do though is I need to distress this on the edges and I'll probably go ahead and try it with this black alcohol ink marker let's see if I can yeah that'll do it that'll give me what I need I just want it framed out I'm going to be kind of sad actually about not doing the beach theme anymore because now I got to try to come up with you know what my my normal days aren't there is no stickers for normal days <laughs> Uh, let's see, today was FaceTime Friday, so I was live in the group, chatting, talking. I don't know if there's a sticker for that. Okay, there we go. So that looks really nice. And this is a, a journaling opportunity, right? So we're going to stick this in here for now, and then we're going to see what what could we do the, to the top of that. We don't want to do any more beachy stuff, at least not on this page. I could definitely get back in here and find something if I wanted to to bling up the other pages so I'm going to put this away and this is this is going to be nice nice to have these organized and then there's like a shoebox size that this goes into and then I write you know like with the alcohol ink pen let's not do that in let's do this in let's do this let's write in my worst childlike writing because I have to usually keep my hand on something to write nice beach right okay I am a bit childlike actually I have the love for for people that's childlike and I um, just just enjoy the, the process that we've got going on here so I like these but I also know that I have this which I wanted to uh, incorporate because I probably won't get another opportunity to use something like this and this is the whole thing use what you have figure it out don't go find and go don't go buying something new just to make it work when you can use what you have that's why we collect all this stuff right ladies that is why we collect it all so and I don't know where I got these but I do know that there are many times that I will do something for fourth of July or Memorial Day or veterans for my father and so I was excited. Look at that. That's nice. Now I wonder. Maybe. No. Don't know. I'll just put this one over here. And what we'll do is we'll grab this flag. And I'm going to put that on there. That'll look nice. There. Look at that. Stickers can be fun, ladies, because you know what? Junk journaling is more about fun than it is making things look perfect. I'm going to tell you right now, don't get caught up in making it look perfect. And if anyone criticizes you for the way it looks, that's on them. When someone goes as far as to say something you've made does not look good, that is a rude thing on their part. That does not mean what you made or did does not fit because... There are just uh, many times when people lash out at other people in ways that um, try to make themselves feel better, I think, I guess. I don't know. I think this might look good across here, and so I'm going to do this. But honestly, ladies, the most important thing is, and, and out of this uh, series that I'm doing with Sarah, we just want you to have fun. We just want you to have fun. We're not trying to make you or teach you how to do something perfect. We're giving you, um, hopefully, some inspirational ideas. We're giving you a, uh, an opportunity to hang out with us while we're chit-chatting and working on something that we're putting our heart into. And we, we just want to thank you so much for the time that you spend with us while we're doing this. So I'm wondering what I'm going to write here, what I'm going to do here, July 10th, Friday, um, do I actually write something on there or do I put a sticker on there? This is the dilemma 
and I and I I would love to write all over it, you know, if I had better handwriting or if I felt more confident about it. But I'll probably go as far as to do stickers. Not that one. No, that one's too bulky. Just because it's easy and I can and maybe work around it. I don't know if I like that either. I mean, I like that, but then I don't want to keep cutting them up. So maybe I won't. Maybe what I will do. Boy, maybe what I will do is go ahead and what? What can I do? Because honestly, I can't draw. Um, I, I'm having trouble thinking about what to say about today, except for that um, I've been working and creating and doing a video. So maybe I'll just do that. Maybe I'll just say the words, right? Just like I was saying earlier with the other thing, the, um, oh, what was it? The, the, like graffiti page. And, um, just getting the words out of your head. Working, creating, video. Okay, come on, let me spell correctly. Video, live. And then YouTube. Those are the things that I did today. So I uh, am working on getting an event done. I've been creating things today. I did my video live in NJJM and uh, worked in YouTube. So there you go. There's my that. This is my goals. How's that? Or my um, to-do list. See, you always come up with something if you just give yourself time to think about it. And that red pops off there. That's why I like it. And I've got this that I can write on afterwards. That I, it'll be private because then not everyone can see it. Right? So this is July 10th. I want to thank you so much. We put some new stickers on some pages that uh, were in the back of this little adventure that we're on. Um, we put in a toilet paper roll. This is not fantastic. I understand that. This is not... This was never intended to be the kind of journal that, you know, is going to get 10,000 views and, and, and necessarily even new subscribers. This was a fun compilation that uh, Sarah and I, I'm going to do this because I think it just needs a little bit of frame. But Sarah and I came, came up with this idea to share our joy of junk journaling on a more personal level instead of it just being about tutorials, right? So Sarah and I both are sitting here working in our personal journals that we made for ourselves to share with you guys um, ideas, motivation, inspiration. I'm not perfect at this. I'm not perfect at anything and I have never said I was. So at least I didn't lie, right? <laughs> that does help a bit though. <laughs> Okay, ladies, thank you so much. I appreciate this. This will be up. This will be this video will be um, going up on um, Wednesday of next week. So when you see this, it will be past the 10th. But um, by then I might have added something else to the video and do more. But for now, there we are. We are at the 10th of July. And thank you so much for joining me and Sarah. And definitely go check out Sarah's videos. She's she and I have different styles, but uh, it all comes out the same. It all comes out, you know, you're working with what's in your heart. Bye bye. Welcome to Making Memories with Melody. I wanted to give a little example of altered paper clips with scraps. So I have been working on this journal for oh my goodness, I created it in the month of June been working on it in the month of July and so I have a lot of scraps and things that are laying around bits and pieces of uh, paper and lace and just all kinds of different stuff and so I thought okay let's start throwing that together into some of our bits of ephemera so a uh, very popular way to make altered paper clips is to take a, just a standard uh, small paper clip and attach it to whether you fussy cut it or punch it out. I use this punch. It's a favorite punch for me to do this with. But I will also use this one and several others. But um, this one works best for me for a lot of the things I'm doing. So I put the small side of the paper clip. Right? Here's, here's an example of a paper clip that you can see really well. <laughs> and there's a small side and a large side. So when you put it on your paper 
you see that this large side has more coverage and the small side has less coverage. So what I choose to do is put the small side in between, sandwich that in between my paper and you save this larger uh, portion for the actual um, project, okay? Uh, functionality of the project. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you that I kind of started this one. I distressed it a little bit. I uh, sewed some uh, metallic lace to the bottom through a, a little tab at the top. I'm going to cover this up, but I want to go ahead and get this started. So I'm going to take this glue, and this is the Helmar Quick Dry Adhesive. Um, this You could do this with the leans. You could do this um, with several different, you could probably even do it with matte gel. But I'm going to take this, and this is the small side of that paper clip, and I'm going to press it to the back of this. And I always want to remember this is the most important thing. Is this set the way that I want to use it? If I'm going to use this sideways, I will want it to be pointing this way to be used sideways. I'm going to use it going up and down. So now I'm going to press this glue down. Most important thing is that the glue is dry and adhered. So we're going to set that aside for a second. Okay. And I have another one here. Same thing smaller um, hook on the back side, larger on the front side so that I can use this side. I'm going to attach this to this one only now. See, do I want it to come and be over on this side of the page or do I want to have this one this way and have it on this side of the page or coming down or coming up? It's just one of those things um, that you just got to think about when you're putting it together, direction and, and what's going to end up being um, which direction it's going to end up going. Okay, so there's some more glue on there. I'm going to put this on the back of this one, and I think I'm going to have this come over here for now. I can change my mind and put it anywhere, but that works for me right now. So I'm going to put this one in the middle. This one I put at the top because of where it's going to be on my page. This one I'm going to put towards the middle, and it can uh, stay out a bit, almost like a tab. So that's another option okay so you can have it come all the way up to here if you don't want this to go past your page you can bring it inside a bit and then let it uh, come out almost to the almost to the length of a tab and this will be able to be moved around so it's not it's not going to be a problem okay so i'm going to let those dry now the thing is is that in my fancy flow i have a bunch of accessories and some of them are are playing cards and this is some of the examples that are in there and i wanted to make an altered paper clip with a playing card out of the kit so that's what these are doing out here and i think the one that i want to use is this one and i think i might make something for over here so now i don't have to have a punch like this right here i can just cut one of these little images out i thought this little guy was cute and I probably won't come up with a good way to use him on his own. So I'm going to use him as the back of my altered paper clip using a greeting card. Okay. So I'm going to distress these though. Um, it will give it a little bit more depth. It will pop off the page a little better. It will flow with the rest of what I'm doing um, because I've been doing it with them. So this here. Let's go ahead and pop these corners a bit. Um, but I'm not seeing the one I want to use, so I'm just going to go ahead, instead of taking the time to search for it. How many times do we misplace things? Oh my goodness. He is a cutie. I like him. Okay, so and I could do the same with this. Just take and distress the edges. Now this would be a really good one to just have in a tuck spot because it has a, a nice image on the back, but I have another one, so well, I have a whole pack of them, but so I don't have to make that decision to where I'm only using it one way. But normally um, I would have used something like this so that I, if I cover up the back, it won't matter, but it'll be fine. So now what I want to do is take this smaller white one and... I am going to do this because I want the smaller hook on the back. Put the glue on here. 
And I need a decent amount of glue right where that hook is because I want it to stay between these securely. So then I'm going to do this. Okay, so now let this one dry and then I'll show you. But we'll do one more and then we'll be done and we'll show you the ones that are drying. So let's take um, let's take this eagle because I have um, quite a bit of reference to eagles in here and I'm really enjoying that that's an opportunity that I have a deck of cards that would do that, that would have that image for me. Or, yeah. So I think the uh, fireworks one would work really well. Cut it apart. And these can be done in any shape, ladies. You can cut them out of heart circles, diagon or uh, diamond shapes. You can you can fussy cut them. You can do anything. They don't have to be this shape. This is just a. It just happens to be the pack of images that I'm working with that's going well with. Uh, my theme now see um, what i want to do on this one is i want it to come sideways so that i can use it on the side of the page so i'm going to take the long side of this put it on the outside like that have the short side on the inside i'm going to put my glue down okay and then i'm going to just like that. Now with these bigger, thicker paper clips, it's a little bit harder to get it pressed down, but you can just do your best to make sure, like I said, if you get enough glue there, it'll hold securely. Okay. So now let's go back to our first couple. This one is secure. And now find a page I just do just like that you see there altered paper clip now I can put a button or a charm or something here to uh, add a little bit more to this nothing real thick because my journal is already getting kind of chunky but uh, just a simple little bling gave it with scraps um, a really fun accessory this one still plain I could add things to it but the point is is to show you the actual um, the actual altered paper clip and then we take it and we put it right there and see how this sticks out just enough to where almost like it's a tab but then you do things like this you take your playing cards and you situate them underneath there right or even on the back side you can use it for a tuck spot altered playing card. Now you can layer up, you can get crazy with it. You can do all kinds of awesome things. But with this particular um, demonstration, I just really wanted to keep it simple because my journal is getting so chubby. It is just getting very, very chubby and I need to have things. See now look at this. I could do something there. I could put this on top of one of these. I could come over to this page, right? Put it there. And then we have this one. And this one goes to the side. So let's say we wanted to bring this up here. So we take the altered part, put it towards the back, or the paper clip part, put it towards the back, and we have um, a tuck spot. All right? See that? See, now this one, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add this. I'm going to add it to this. So I want this in here, but. Um, it's just not finding a place anywhere that's worked yet. So I'm going to do this so that I make sure I don't forget it. And I'll leave just a tiny space for a tuck if I want to put something there. All right. So if I wanted to, I could tuck something there. But I don't know if I will or not. There's the apples. Oh, he looks handsome there, doesn't he? Oh my goodness. Okay, so altered paper clips. Very simple, easy, not extravagant, not detailed, not long, not, uh, you know, don't have to have a thousand different pro uh, products. What you have to have is paper clips, glue, some sort of either cardstock or book pages or cards or 
altered something or cut out fussy cut something and um, and then you layer that's basically the next step so if it already has an image you can focus on that image if it doesn't have an image then you can um, layer up with all kinds of things like we did on this one all right altered paper clips thank you ladies bye bye